Did you know poor blood sugar control doesn't just cause diabetes, it's also one of the leading triggers for heart disease, kidney failure, nerve pain, and vision loss worldwide. What's worse, 60% of people with type 2 diabetes don't realize they're missing key vitamins and minerals that could dramatically improve their blood sugar control. High glucose levels actually drain the very nutrients your body needs to manage sugar effectively. Meanwhile, the internet is full of supplement hype, miracle cures that rarely work, while the real science gets buried. The truth? Some supplements work as well as prescription drugs, and others are just expensive disappointments. So in today's video, we're revealing this year's eight best supplements for diabetics, all backed by very real clinical evidence. You'll learn which supplement works just like metformin, the surprising truth about fish oil from the WHO, and the exact vitamin D dose most people never reach. Stay tuned, this could change how you manage your diabetes for good, and if you find this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more science-based health insights. Here's something that will blow your mind. There's a supplement that works exactly like metformin for blood sugar control. Chinese researchers compared berberine head-to-head -head against metformin in people with type 2 diabetes. After 13 weeks, both groups had identical improvements in blood sugar control. Berberine lowered HbA1c by 0.7%, the same reduction seen with metformin. But here's where it stands out. Berberine improved cholesterol far more effectively. LDL cholesterol dropped by a whopping 21% with berberine compared to just 11% with metformin. That means you're getting the same blood sugar control plus stronger heart protection. Berberine works by activating the same cellular pathways as metformin, something called AMPK activation. This helps your cells use glucose more efficiently while your liver produces less excess sugar. And there's a bonus. A 2025 study found that combining berberine with cinnamon creates additive effects boosting its blood sugar lowering power even further. The combination works better than either supplement alone, but wait until you see the vitamin that 60% of diabetics are missing. Your doctor probably never told you this, but vitamin D deficiency might be making your diabetes worse. A massive review found that 60% of people with type 2 diabetes have low vitamin D levels. But here's what most people get wrong. Taking the standard 400 IU dose does absolutely nothing for blood sugar control. The research shows you need at least 1000 IU daily to see any metabolic benefits, and many studies use 2000 to 4000 IU for optimal effects. When you get enough vitamin D, your pancreas produces insulin more efficiently, and your muscles become more responsive to it. Research shows that people who maintain healthy vitamin D levels have up to a 38% lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes in the first place. But here's the hidden bonus. Vitamin D also strengthens your immune system and supports bone health two major concerns for people with diabetes who face higher infection and fracture risks. Unfortunately, most people waste money on low-dose vitamin D supplements that barely make a difference. To see real results, you need a dose that actually raises your blood levels to the optimal range. Have you ever tested your vitamin D levels or are you just guessing? because the next mineral we'll talk about creates an even more vicious cycle when you're deficient. This is where diabetes turns into a self-perpetuating cycle. High blood sugar causes your blood to flush magnesium out through your urine, and low magnesium in turn makes blood sugar control even worse. It's a vicious loop that traps millions of people with diabetes. Research shows that 37-57% to 57 of diabetics are magnesium deficient. 
In one recent study, magnesium supplementation lowered HbA1c by nearly 10% compared to placebo, a result that rivals prescription medications. Here's how the cycle works. When your blood sugar stays high, your kidneys excrete more magnesium. But magnesium is crucial for insulin function and glucose metabolism. The less you have, the harder it becomes to manage your blood sugar, causing even greater losses. To make matters worse, metformin, one of the most common diabetes drugs, can further reduce magnesium levels. So the very medication that's meant to help may actually deepen the deficiency that's holding back your progress. The good news? Studies show magnesium works even better when combined with potassium. Both minerals enhance insulin sensitivity, but through different biological pathways. Are you starting to see how these hidden deficiencies can build on each other? Because this next vitamin might completely change how you think about blood sugar control. Prepare for this shocker. A 2023 network analysis of diabetes supplements ranked vitamin K2 as the number one most effective supplement for lowering HbA1c. Most people think of vitamin K for blood clotting, but K2 has a completely different job. It activates a protein called osteocalcin that acts like a hormone to improve insulin sensitivity. Japanese researchers found that vitamin K2 supplementation improved insulin sensitivity in just one week. The MK7 form of K2 stays active in your body for days, unlike other forms that disappear quickly. Studies using MK7 show consistent improvements in fasting blood sugar and insulin resistance markers. Here's what makes K2 special. It works through your bone metabolism to improve blood sugar control. Your bones aren't just structural support, they're active endocrine organs that help regulate metabolism. The unexpected benefit? K2 also keeps calcium in your bones instead of your arteries, reducing the cardiovascular disease risk that kills most diabetics. Most people have never even heard of vitamin K2, let alone realized it could be their most powerful blood sugar tool. Now here's a mineral that packs incredible power in tiny amounts. You only need less than 200 micrograms of chromium a day, but this tiny trace mineral could be your secret weapon against insulin resistance. In fact, the same 2023 network analysis that ranked vitamin K2 highest for lowering HbA1c found that chromium took the top spot for improving fasting blood glucose and insulin resistance. Chromium helps insulin work more effectively by enhancing how it binds to your cell's receptors. Think of it as making the cellular locks fit in the insulin key more smoothly. Unfortunately, most people with diabetes are deficient in chromium. Food processing strips chromium from grains and high sugar intake causes your body to lose even more through urine. That creates another vicious cycle. Poor blood sugar control worsens the very deficiency that could help to fix it. Clinical studies show that chromium supplementation improves insulin sensitivity within 4 to 16 weeks, with the strongest results in people who start with poor glucose control. And there's a bonus. Chromium also appears to reduce sugar cravings by improving how your brain responds to insulin signals. It's amazing, such a tiny mineral with massive metabolic power. Next, we'll look at supplements that target a specific diabetic complication, one that prescription drugs can't touch. If you have diabetic nerve pain, this supplement has been used as a prescription medicine in Germany for decades. Alpha lipoic acid doesn't dramatically improve blood sugar control like the previous supplements. Instead, it targets diabetic neuropathy, the burning, tingling nerve pain that affects up to 50% of people with long-term diabetes. Clinical trials show alpha lipoic acid reduces neuropathy symptoms in about 60% of people who try it. The typical dose is 600 to 1200 milligrams daily, much higher than most supplement labels suggest. 
Here's how it works. High blood sugar damages nerves through oxidative stress and inflammation. Alpha lipoic acid is both water and fat soluble, so it can protect nerve membranes that other antioxidants can't reach. For people dealing with diabetic nerve pain, this could be life-changing relief that doesn't come with side effects of prescription pain medications. Are you dealing with any tingling or burning sensations that might be early neuropathy? But wait, this next supplement has the most surprising research results of all. Here's the shocker that even caught researchers off guard. A massive WHO commissioned review of 83 studies involving over 121,000 people found that omega-3 fish oil has little to no effect on diabetes risk or blood sugar control. That's right, this completely contradicts decades of health advice. The supposed omega-3 miracle for diabetes? Mostly marketing, not science. Taking fish oil won't meaningfully change your HbA1c or insulin sensitivity. But here's the plot twist. While omega-3 doesn't improve blood sugar, it does protect against diabetic complications. The same research showed a 10% reduction in major cardiovascular events and an 11% drop in microvascular issues like kidney and eye disease. So omega-3 might not fix your diabetes, but it could save your life by reducing your risk of heart attacks and strokes, the leading cause of death among diabetics. There is one warning though. High doses above 4.4 grams a day may increase your risk of atrial fibrillation, a dangerous irregular heartbeat. Bottom line, take omega-3 for heart and kidney protection, not blood sugar control. Crazy, isn't it? Something promoted for decades as a diabetes fix barely touches blood sugar at all. Now let's move on to the most overhyped supplement in diabetes and what the research really shows might surprise you even more. Brace yourself for some disappointment. Cinnamon is probably the most overhyped diabetes supplement out there. Multiple systematic reviews show that its effects on blood sugar are inconsistent and generally small. Some studies show a slight improvement, others show none at all, and when there is an effect, it's usually modest, maybe a 10-20 to 20 point drop in fasting glucose. But here's where things get interesting. Remember that 2025 study on berberine? Researchers found that combining cinnamon with berberine produced additive effects that neither supplement achieved alone. So cinnamon might work better as an enhancer, not a standalone solution. One big problem with the research, studies use different doses, different types of cinnamon, and different patient groups, making it hard to draw solid conclusions. The truth is, cinnamon's popularity exploded through anecdotes and social media hype, not scientific evidence. People want to believe that something as simple as a kitchen spice can control diabetes, but the data tells a different story. There may be a small upside though, some studies suggest cinnamon can slow gastric emptying, which might help reduce post-meal blood sugar spikes when combined with other strategies. So no, cinnamon isn't useless, but it's definitely not the secret cure that internet gurus promise. Now let's talk about how to actually make these supplements work for you. The research reveals several key patterns that determine whether supplements actually work or just waste your money. First, supplements are far more effective when combined with exercise. For example, the same dose of magnesium that barely affects blood sugar in sedentary people produces dramatic improvements in those who are active. Exercise makes your cells more responsive to the metabolic benefits of these nutrients. Second, timing matters. Most supplements need 8-12 to 12 weeks to show their full effects. Unfortunately, many people give up just after one month when they don't see instant results. Third, the more is better mindset often backfires. Each supplement has an optimal dose range. Going higher doesn't boost results and can sometimes make things worse. Fourth, age changes everything. 
The same supplements that work well for someone in their 40s may have weaker effects on people over 70, as metabolism and nutrient absorption naturally decline with age. The American Diabetes Association remains cautious about supplements, not because they don't work, but because the studies aren't yet as large or as long-term as pharmaceutical trials. Still, the evidence we've covered here represents the strongest clinical data available so far. So what's the best approach? Start with top tier supplements that have the most consistent benefits, berberine, vitamin D, magnesium, and vitamin K2. These target blood sugar from different angles. Then consider chromium, an alpha lipoic acid, for specific needs, and use omega-3s mainly for heart protection, not blood sugar control. To dive deeper into dietary side of diabetes management, don't miss our next video, Scientifically Proven Foods That Reverse Type 2 Diabetes. You'll discover eight powerful, research-backed foods that naturally help reverse type 2 diabetes by targeting fat buildup in the liver and muscles. The real root cause of high blood sugar. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more science-based diabetes and heart health insights.